Hey creators, today we're going to do something fun in Resolve. We're going to use the free version of DaVinci Resolve to create some follow along lyrics for our kids video. And it's going to look a little something like this. Camels are the ships of the desert. They cross okay, we'll jump right into this. So I have my scene set up. It's basically just an image background. And I have this camel on top there with a transparent background. And I have my audio clip underneath here of the music for this track. And this is just a rough draft at this point. Uh, these are going to be animated characters in the future. But for now, I'm going to set up these lyric sheets just to show you how this is done. So what we do, this is pretty simple in Resolve. Uh, we want to see these waveforms, so make sure they're turned on. So to do that, we can go up here into these audio view options. And you're also going to want to have this audio waveforms on. So if I turn it off, it's going to not show those waveforms. And you can set kind of the size of those waveforms here or the look of those. And so I kind of like this look of it. And go ahead and close that. And this just helps me kind of set up my positions. We're also going to want to follow along with the, the audio itself. So I want to create some markers in Venture Resolve to establish cue points where I'm going to introduce the text for each lyric. And so we can go through and just put those in on the places that we're going to have a new phrase. And basically, if you don't have a clip selected, they will put the markers at the top. If you have a clip selected, it's going to put them on that clip itself. So I like to just not have a clip selected at this point. Okay, so that's enough for now. So I have my cues set with these markers where I want to bring in the text. And we can use either traditional rich text, uh, the old text style in DaVinci Resolve, or we can use the text plus, which is the newer text style. I'm going to go ahead and use the text plus. And so I want to set that to begin on that first marker. And I'm going to stop it where the second marker starts. So you're going to need to make sure you have enough tracks up above your footage here. So to add tracks, you just right click in this area here and say add track, or you can add multiple if you use add tracks here. You can select the number of tracks you want to add. So I have enough here to start with. So I have my first piece of text right here. So I'm going to go ahead and change the font here, and I'll go to just something a little bit different here. And I want to change the size down just a little bit in my case. And I'm going to bring the position of this text down a bit. And actually, before I do that, this is very important. Make sure you're setting your anchors on the, the left side here because uh, we're going to build everything from the left side of the text here. Let's go back to the layout now. And I'll move that position over to kind of center it where I want it. In this case, I'm going to use start with a white text, and I'm going to build a layer a yellow text over top of it, kind of a highlighter. And so what I want to do is I want to put an outline around this text. In this case, we're using text plus, so we need to add an element. So go to select element to enable that. It's going to be red by default. Let's just move that to a black. And I'll thicken that up just a little bit, make that look a little bit better. And we can go back to our text now. And I can type in what, uh, what we want to say here. And so I need to position that over a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we have this white text in here. And we can't really animate right in the text editor. So say if I wanted to change this just to a yellow, it's going to change the whole thing yellow. In rich text, you can kind of do that. And I'll show you that briefly. So if we do this, and I'll bring that down as well here. We can change the first word 
so to speak, as like a yellow. But it really is not animatable by the way we want to do this. So uh, you, you can kind of do it, but I've got a better way to do all this. So like I said, this is all white here. And what we want to do now is make a copy of this, this text clip. Just hold down the Alt key on a Windows machine. Hold down with your left mouse button and just slide the track up. So you're going to have a duplicate underneath there. So you can turn these tracks on and off. You can see I've got two in there. And so now what I want to do is just create the highlighting color. So in this case, it's going to be a yellow. And you can see that's putting that yellow text in there, right? So let's step into this now on how this is done. So I'm going to use a simple method. There's a number of different ways to do this. But for me, the easiest way is using the right on. And so I can go by character or I can go kind of by word here by selecting this position. And so you can see I've got camels selected there. Now I want to go down to the next word. So when he says R, then I want to select this position. I'm going to have to hit this animate uh, little diamond over here to the right. And then on this point, I'll go to the next point, move ahead one point on the timeline, and I can drag this all the way over. So now we're going to get something like this. You're going to get kind of those word by word highlighting. And so we can continue to do this throughout this track. And like I said, you can use any color you want. This is just an overlay over the top. So if I want to use a different color, say I want to make this red, just change it to red. And obviously if you have your lyric sheets, you can basically copy paste into the stylized text box as you go. Uh, but the most important thing is you do have to do this hand editing. For me, I just make the markers. It just makes it a whole lot easier to position these in there. So you can set your length and when they're going to appear and not appear. And so this gives you a lot of flexibility and it's really easy to put these lyric sheets together. Uh, like a kid's video like this is super simple. If you're doing a music video, uh, it's just as easy. You can use any text style you want. And so you'd have to change it on both though. So if I want to do this, I'm going to need to change it both of these to the same thing, but you get the same effect here. Okay, so I have my first line of lyrics done. And that looks pretty good. So now I want to make a copy of this for this next piece so I don't have to reset up the same font again and sizing and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of these text clips. And I'm going to hold down the Alt key and just slide them over to the right here. And then I'm going to trim them up, kind of slide over the edge to match up this next marker here. And then I need to set this text to the same thing that the uh, lyrics say in the, in the song. I'm going to copy that down to the clip below it so they match. You can see that's kind of off the screen there. So what I want to do is kind of move these over and center them. I'll do that real quick here. All right, that looks pretty good. And you can see I still have that animation in place from uh, the first time that I did that. Let's go ahead and remove that. So make sure the top clip is selected. And we're going to go back to the text tab up here at the top. And this right on, just right click on that and say remove all from right on group. And really what you want to do is kind of go back to the start here and do that. And that's just going to freeze it where it's at here. So then we can go in and go ahead and start animating this. And I'll do that real quick for you. So really there's kind of two ways to do this animation. I don't know if you noticed this, but what I like to do if you do it word by word is you want to just go one frame on the animation. So I had, had a zero point here at the start. I'm going to go to the next frame and I'm going to slide this right on to cover all that first word there. So about there. So that looks pretty good. So then I go to the next word, and I'll just finish this off real quick here for you.
All right, that's pretty good. So just continue to do that. You can keep on making these adjustments with these tracks and put these in, in order here with all your lyrics. And so that's the basic procedure, and you can do this on and on to as long as your song is. And if you have uh, repeating choruses and things like that, obviously you can copy those segments into the chorus, and that saves you a little bit of time. But it is a little bit tedious, but uh, I think it works really well to do this highlighting and resolve. And resolve obviously is free, so it's a great program to do this, and this is just a simple way to, to make the lyrics. Thanks a lot for watching today. I appreciate you taking a look at it. So if you got any comments on this video, please post them in the comments below and I will try to help you get those answered. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody.